Okay. Hello, uh, Malika. Nice to meet you, Malika. Um, if you just joined, you're welcome, Steve. Um, make a calendar for us, please. Okay. So I will go ahead and do a 2022 calendar, okay, so that um, you guys can have something that you can use um, in the coming year. Guys, if you want to know how to create a dispersion effect, it's pretty much simple, but it will require a little, you know, understanding. So if you bring in your image, as you can see, I have a gradient effect that I've applied as my background. Now I have my subject. Even if I want to change my gradient background, I can double click on my gradient fill, click on the gradient, and I can maybe change this to like a purple. If I want a purple-ish color, and then I can do maybe the same here and choose something like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead to click okay. And click okay. All right, so we are going to go ahead and create a dispersion effect. Now notice that the subject should have a shadow in the background. We don't see a shadow. So a little trick that you do is that you can click on your, uh, you can create a new layer. Just click on the plus icon, create a new layer. And then you want to go ahead and pick up your brush tool. Okay, pick up your brush tool, make it as big as this. Now, if you don't see your brush head, it means your cup locks is on. So turn off your cup locks. If your cup locks is on, you only see a cursor. You don't see your um, eraser head. So go ahead and click on your cup locks to bring up that, um, to bring it up. So you can see your eraser head. Now you wanna go ahead and flip your foreground to black so you can have the black color on top. Now go ahead and just create a dab. Now when you create the dab, notice that your flow is at 58. Now we can go ahead and pick our move tool, zoom out, and we are going to basically uh, crush this um, gradient or this, uh, layer that we've created, this paint effect, and we are going to pull that and set that below our subject. So it gives us the illusion of a shadow for our subject. And I think that's cool. It's very easy to do that. All right. So with this set, you want to go ahead and you want to go and zoom in so you can see this perfectly. Now we want to create two copies. So go ahead and make a duplicate, Command J, make a duplicate. Now we wanna go ahead and add a layer max. So click on your subject and then add a layer max to the first one. Now click on the second layer, add a layer max. So now we have two layers of the same subject with a layer max. Now the top one, we wanna inverse our layer max. So you wanna hold down options I on your keyboard, command I on your keyboard to basically inverse your, um, your layer max. Okay, so with that said, we are going to go ahead and turn off the bottom image so we can only see, we are going to go ahead and, okay, so before I do that, let me go back. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. And then the top layer, we wanna go ahead and add, apply a liquefied effect. So we are going to go under filter and then you wanna locate liquefied. Okay, so when you, once you find liquefied, you wanna go ahead and click on the forward warp tool. Okay, so select that. And then you wanna go ahead and basically warp your subjects. And all you have to do is just begin to spread, you know, your subjects. Now I have to do it a little bit faster so we can get it all spread. So when you are doing this, it doesn't have to be perfect. So spread it as much as you can, you know, so go ahead and do the leg. Now notice that I'm doing it only from one side I'm not doing it from the other leg as well. 
okay? So just from the uh, left-hand side of your subject, you wanna pull out every, um, every side of that, uh, of your subjects, okay? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so once you have it all spread out the way you want, now, if you spread it out too much, you can also bring it back in. So it's, I mean, you can go back in if you feel it's too much. So uh, you can spread it or shrink it down. So once you have this, you wanna go ahead and click okay, all right? So once you have your subjects with the liquid file, you wanna click on the layer max of the liquid file layer, hold down command I and basically hide that layer. Now turn on your first layer, which has your subjects all in one piece. Now you wanna go ahead and pick up your brush tool, go to normal, go to your brush setting, and you wanna go ahead and locate the brush that you want to use, okay? So we are going to go ahead and pick a random brush, okay? Something like this. And I'm going to go ahead to zoom out, I'm going to go ahead to make it a little bit smaller. And with the layer max of that selected, we are going to make sure, we are going to make sure that we have our layer on black, black height, white reveals. And you want to basically paint around your subject. And then it looks as though your subject is being eaten up, you know, around the edges. And that's all you want to do, just like this. So once you have this all done, you wanna go back onto the other layer, click on the other layer. Now you can't see the other layer. So what you want to do is that, let me paint this area a little. Okay, so now we are on the second layer. Now you wanna make sure your foreground color is white. Now when you're working with layer marks, white reveals black height. So think about it that way, black is, you know, darkness and light is white. So if you want to reveal something, you want to basically turn on the light. So you use the white. Now, if you want to hide something, anything that is hidden is in the dark. So that is black, okay? So you want to click on the layer max thumbnail with your foreground flip to white, pick up your brush tool. Now you want to go ahead and paint in to basically reveal some of the um, some of the background of your subject from your warp um, layer, okay? So once you do this, now that is it, okay? Now, if you are, if you finish and you feel that um, you want to uh, erase more of it towards the end, all you have to do is flip your foreground color to black, and then you can go ahead and basically paint in randomly to basically get rid of some. So you can add or delete by just flipping your foreground in and out. And that is basically how you create this, what? This passion effect. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you for joining and thank you for always supporting this channel. Please continue to like and subscribe when I share videos, tell your friends about it. And also, if you have any video that I haven't done that you want me to recreate, all you have to do is comment on one of the videos or send me an Instagram message and I will be glad to do so for you. So once again, thank you. And guys, have a fantastic day. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye, y'all.